<laughs> I've come for your tea. <laughs> hey, are you ready to go? It's the Joel and Randy show. Hey, you bitches and all, drink some tea. It's Texas Tea with Joel and Randy show. All tea, all shade. It's Texas made. It's the Joel and Randy show. Drink the tea, you fucking whores. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween everybody! Hey, Happy Halloween! That was that was good. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody! Welcome to Joel and Randy's Texas Sea Tea. I'm Joel Tater. I'm Randy, and you know what, girl? You don't need to know no more than that. Mm-hmm. Eat your damn candy corn and shut up. And we have a special guest. Introduce yourself, my friend. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ed. <clears throat> Ed is our little treat for the evening. Oh, he is. Our, little, our little straight treat. He's our okay. token, token straight. straight. Mm-hmm. You know what? Token I straight. I don't, I don't, I that sounds like a delicious break, breakfast cereal, doesn't it? Token straight. <laughs> it sounds like it might be kind of bitter and chewy to me. Mm. <laughs> Involving a lot, I don't mean no a lot involving a lot of psychotherapy after Listen, you know how you know how adverse the straights are to being eaten by the gays. Mm. <laughs> might be might be a little difficult. Happy Halloween everyone from mm. from Houston, Texas, where there's absolutely nothing going on. No, all the way <laughs> celebrating on the weekend. Mm. You know how it is, girl. <laughs> yes. You know how we do mm-hmm. in our world. We mm-hmm. want to make sure we're off work so we can recuperate <coughs> mm-hmm. on that. But then again, no, that's bullshit because we always do tea dance. Mm-hmm. No, but tea dance is early. Mm-hmm. See, we need to get in and mm-hmm. get out on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So we can go to bed. Mm-hmm. Do you have you ever day drank on a Sunday? Day drink, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like almost. Hey, man, I love brunch just as much as the next person. Mm-hmm. Brunch and brunch. Like mimosas. Mm-hmm. You start at like. 10, 30, 11, mm-hmm. get out there and just start mm-hmm. to, you know, Girl, hurt the dog. You know, I right? heard the dog, exactly. You know, 15, 20 years ago, only straight girls with their gay friends would be at brunch. At brunch. Oh, yeah. yeah. We mm-hmm. make, as you know, mm-hmm. we make everything popular. Yeah, exactly. As, as in mm-hmm. art, mm-hmm. literature, uh, you name it. Mm-hmm. Y'all gays, just made it socially made acceptable. It socially uh, acceptable and to, popular. No, to, to drink before, like, you know, exactly. 10 o'clock on the well, weekend. Well, we had help. Elizabeth Taylor helped us, <laughs> well, too. Yeah. Oh, and, and, don't the forget the the gay icon. and don't forget Sex in the City had a lot to and do with Sex that. Because that's when the girls were like, ooh, Sex I'm, the city. Yes. I'm a working gal now. <clears throat> Let's go have brunch. Speaking, and mm-hmm. I'm just going to mm-hmm. slip this in. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Ooh, don't worry, Ed. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Don't worry, Ed. Don't worry, Ed. You're good, Ed. But, no. Judy Garland... Died forty, let's see, girl, forty nine years ago this mm-hmm. year. Oh wow! Right now, this year. And mm-hmm. Bless her heart. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I slipped that in because of all the drinkers day drinking. You know, Judy was day drinking mm-hmm. and doing pills too, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but shout out to Judy. Bless her heart. She's been dead for forty. <laughs> you well, like she's going. She died yesterday. She didn't have to die. She was quite young, actually. Yeah, she was quite she young. Was in her fifties. <laughs> When she passed, mm-hmm. I thought she was old, but that's mm-hmm. because of the ravages of pills and booze, girl. Mm-hmm. Especially because she smoked too, I think. Mm-hmm. Cigarettes. Everybody right? smoked cigarettes back then, though. Yeah, that's everybody true. smoked cigarettes back <clears throat> but then. But it really does mm-hmm. a lot to a woman's face. Mm-hmm. Smoking does just ravages a bitch's face. Mm-hmm. Men come out okay, mm-hmm. I think, compared to women. Mm-hmm. We, we come out okay, but it usually depends on. Heredity, blah blah blah. But we come out okay. Mm-hmm. We don't come out great. I mean, I have still put some years in your face. Yeah, it's still some years. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Drinking, mm-hmm. absolutely. Any habitual drug use, really. I yeah, mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> nicotine is a drug. And, and, let's, and yeah. let us not forget alcohol and nicotine. Yeah, exactly. And hey, can we talk about sugar too? Because fuck. Yeah, man. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. sugar's a bitch. Too. Sugar, sugar's a bitch. Sugar's in everything, though. Sugar's you can't get away from sugar. Uh, you no matter how you try, how, unless no, you buy hard. everything like super raw, yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 do like the that country woman on HGTV and just have your little make your flower in the backyard and Ooh, do all that stuff. Ain't nobody trying to. <laughs> <do all that. laughs> 
that's the only way you're gonna avoid sugar because sugar is literally it. Well, girl, I'll take a little sugar here and there then because mm-hmm. I'm not trying to work that hard to eat a damn sandwich. Mm-hmm. Oh, good lord, mm-hmm. or or whatever. Let's get straight to it, girl. Let's All right, girl. Let's get straight to it because we had some we had some meanies. We got some we got some Halloween themed bad people. And well, I, what I mean, bad people, girl. Look, we've had we've had some recent events that have happened. And we need to acknowledge that those events happened. <clears throat> those were, those people have been dealt with. <clears throat> Let's just talk about the everyday meanies <clears throat> that permeate our entire world. That happens every, that happens once in the blue moon. Yes, but what you're talking about mm-hmm. is pervasive. Mm-hmm. It's per- let, let's, let's start with a little, little story I read. Mm-hmm. Uh, Little sister, three sisters. Imagine this, three sisters. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. What middle sister is about to get married? The other two sisters are funny and smart and popular and beautiful, and she is well the middle child. <clears throat> she is the middle child, and she's average. Mm-hmm. So in order for her to be the center of attention at the wedding, she made. Her sisters, the bridesmaids, and then she did a little something that was, I, I feel questionable when you think about it. She would make them breakfast smoothies every morning to make sure that they stayed slim and trim for the dresses. Mm-hmm. The problem was they weren't bre- they weren't ordinary breakfast smoothies. They were for pow- bow- uh, bodybuilders, pr- protein shakes, like to bulk you up, stuff. to bulk bulk yeah. you up. So every morning for Four months before the wedding, she would make them breakfast smoothies <coughs> to fatten them up so she could look good for her wedding. <laughs> and her, the sisters didn't know, realize what was going on. They had to have the dresses remade mm-hmm. by the time the wedding came over because they had put on a, they had put on a lot of weight. This is a weight gain four thousand, <laughs> and they couldn't figure yes, out what. And Would they couldn't know? figure out why they were putting on so much. <laughs> South Park beefcake, like well, you, know, you, know, you, know yeah, exactly. you know what? She may have, she mm-hmm. may be in trouble because mm-hmm. this shit is all over the internet and everything. How she did this, mm-hmm. there might be a DA who might be interested in, mm-hmm. in uh, her catching a case on this because mm-hmm. that is uh, a form that. of mm-hmm. that's a form of uh, assault. Mm-hmm. That is, that's a form of assault. Mm-hmm. That's like a, you don't know what was in that. You know, they, yeah, they could have been alert. There could have been something they could have been allergic, been allergic to. Reaction or, or something. That's a form mm-hmm. of assault. Well, I mean, so, being sisters, she probably. I would hope that she thought about when she thought about making that's this felony plan. Assault, though. That shit is felony. <laughs> when she thought about making this plan in her head, I hope she thought about the fact that okay, if sister has an allergy to dairy, I need to find something that doesn't have dairy. Mm-hmm. She had to do a lot of research. She had to do a lot of stuff. She just to get these no bitches, research. just to get these bitches fat enough for a wedding, so she'll be the center of attention. She didn't she, have to do research. All she had to do was go. To the you know what the funny thing is, and pick up that bulk and stuff like mm-hmm. Joe Weider mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know the funny thing is, is that she said, and how dare she? How dare she? She said that she was the Jan Brady of her family, and she got tired of being the Jan Brady. Do not invoke the name of Miss Jan, Jan Brady from the from the Brady Bunch or Miss Jan Brady. But you know what, Don't Jan Brady, I got I mm-hmm. got to tell you something mm-hmm. about Miss Jan Brady. Mm-hmm. Last time I saw Eve Plum is her name. Shout out to Eve Plum with your no career ass. <laughs> Eve Plum mm-hmm. was on a talk show, and she had come on. It was a long time ago, and she had come on, and she decided that she wanted to be an artist, and she came up there. With some old tired sailboat on an easel girl, <laughs> and one of the cus- one of the customers, mm-hmm. one of the people in the audience, the audience member said, "Say Marsha, Marsha, Marsha," and she said, "I don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm here to talk about my art." So I was like, "Bitch, you will always be Jam Brady. You need to embrace Jam Brady <laughs> and love her because you might get a career behind mm-hmm. you after all." Mm-hmm. But she didn't, and. Have you seen any, any of her art in any galleries? I don't think so. First of all, I she was on what show? <laughs> she was on the Jenny Jones show. That's how long ago it was. Mm-hmm. It was back in the day. But this bitch is bitter, and she has middle child syndrome any damn mm-hmm. way. 
So she was right to say she was, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Jan mm -hmm. Brady, because she was. <laughs> But that's, Jim Brady is just that. She but that's underhanded. that's an underhanded move. I mean, it's your wedding. You are automatically gonna stand out anyway. Your sisters could be super hot models. What but is that wrong rated. with her? I was gonna say, what's that family dynamic? Mm, yeah, that, exactly. That, what's going on at that household? That you know, mm -hmm. it's okay to kind of poison your siblings. Mm -hmm. for yeah, the exactly, months? exactly. I mean. Mm -hmm. Those girls didn't know what they were drinking. Mm -mm. Not, not in the least. And you're right; they probably could catch a case. Well, you could have. They could, they could definitely they, catch they, a case. Mm -hmm. She could catch a case mm -hmm. behind this, seriously. Mm -hmm. But you could ask Vera, my mother, mm -hmm. about that because Vera one time slipped me a Mickey. Yeah, uh, because I told her I don't like pills. I don't take pills. I don't like pills. Mm -hmm. And so, just take this sleeping pill and help you sleep. It's a towel. No, it was one of those damn pills where. Uh, it helps you with your cold, but it makes you sleep. Mm -hmm. And she gave me one. She poured, she goes, here, have some hot tea. That'll help you sleep. And she had crushed up the a capsule. <laughs> in the damn castle <laughs> and mixed it in there like some kind of crazy person. And my sisters, the next day, I woke mm -hmm. up and see the thing with me and those kind of pills that are supposed to make you relax and mm -hmm. help you sleep. They have the opposite effect on me. Mm -hmm. Girl, I was bouncing up and down in that bed. I was. <laughs> if that happens I, to I, me. It feels mm -hmm. like I'm jumping out of my skin. Mm -hmm. I knew what had happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, I have been drugged. <laughs> 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 and so I woke up the next day and I said, old woman, mm -hmm. did you drug me? And my <laughs> sisters were laughing because they're like, bitch, you got drugged. <laughs> my, my mother's like. But your mother is. I'm like, just trying to help. Your mother you is from. Your, your, your mother's mother, not yeah. a case. Your mother is from the from the school of others who had to do little tricks uh, to get you to take, oh, hell take you your say. flip Flintstone you know, vitamins. Oh, when you know what my mother's trick was to, to <coughs> for mm -hmm. me to do anything? Mm -hmm. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm grown now, so she can't slap my ass. That I was, say, bitch, you better take this. Or I'm gonna whoop your ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come from the old school where you got your ass beat. Mm -hmm. And I suggest you beat your children. Please beat your children. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. It, it. Hopefully it will be you as a parent. Mm -hmm. Whoop that ass. We need to bring mm -hmm. back ass whoopings. We're not going to go down that road again. Mm -hmm. We've been down that road oh, again geez. several times. Mm -hmm. With me telling we, folks to whoop their children. I'm, I'm, with, we, you. At, I'm with you. We, Someone at, else will. Someone we else at the Joel and Randy show do not. No, no. Physical violence. Physical violence. Physical Nor physical do we style. advocate it. Yes, I do. But beat your child. Beat your damn child. Ed, what were you saying? Ed was going to no give idea, us some, some knowledge no about idea. child beating. Child beating. <laughs> you ever get your ass beat? I was going to say, you ever have to pick your own switch? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it better be green. Yeah, and, and thick, the thicker the better. Because mm -hmm. I, I made the that thicker the better for who? For who? But you get those real small thin mm -hmm. ones. Those will mm -hmm. cut you. That's the mm -hmm. kind that oh, we're wacky to on the, on mm -hmm. the legs. That's the kind we were supposed yeah, to get yeah. because mm -hmm. my mother called it striping your legs. Oh, yeah. That's what you got cuts all up and down. I'd your rather get leg. I, mm -hmm. I'd rather get hit with a two by four than mm -hmm. get hit with one of those switches. You ain't. I it had. better be green, mother. You say get a switch, pick a switch, and it better be green. And then you would have. <laughs> I would. Oh, have, yeah. My mother oh, yeah. would be in prison. Yeah, and raise it up. I had. I had a friend who was. I unfortunately was about to look, witness his beating because we were we were playing around in the backyard mm -hmm. and we were in a tree and we fell out of the tree and we were pretty high and she got super upset. So she was like, <clears throat> "What in the tree? <laughs> no, not high, not high in the tree. Oh, so Lord, wait, wait, hold on, the Lord, we were eight. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no Drew Barrymore in this house. No, <laughs> call back to Drew Barrymore." <laughs> She said, "She said, go get me a go get me a switch, and it better be thick, the same line that's been used mm -hmm. for God knows how long." With us, it better be green. You know what he came back in with? What? He came back in with a log. Oh! He came <laughs> back in with a log, and he that's gonna make a worse beat. And she looked at him, and she just burst out laughing, and she said, "You know what? Never mind. I'm not no right. no." Now and he looked at me, sweet. and he said, "Well." Well, here's the thing. I realized something. I realized that the heavier the stick, the shorter the beat. Because if she can't hold it, I might get one or two whacks, and that's it. If I give her a tiny little switch, she's going to just, like Zorro, just all over me. Just like Zorro. But if I give her, like, a big old log, 
then she might be able to, she might have to hold it with two hands, but right. she's only going to get two or three whacks <laughs> in, and she's done. She's tired. She's like, forget this. Girl. But mom was smart enough to understand what he was doing, so she laughed. Like I said, she laughed so hard, she just said, never mind. Mm-hmm. Don't go up in that tree again. And that was it. Well, Did that kid grow up to be a comedian? Because that's like the next so. level. I have, like, yeah, I'm like, let's deflect real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mother, my mother mm-hmm. broke, uh, you know, those mm-hmm. paint stirring sticks. Mm-hmm. My mother broke a paint stirring stick on my bony ass when I was a kid mm-hmm. and said, hold on. And went and got a bell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we didn't play in my house. Mm-hmm. But Vera's sweet, and she really is. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I deserved all those beatings because trust me, I was a mean child. I did things just to be evil. Mm-hmm. Just one time I put Mr. Bubble in the sink in the bathtub, turned both faucets on, locked the door, and waited for the bubble. <laughs> went all the way into the living room. Went all the way into the living room. Reva's, I mean, how uh, old were you at the time? Vera's in the kitchen. I was uh, seven. Mm-hmm. Vera's in the kitchen making dinner, and me and my sisters are in the den, and I'm just waiting. Mm-hmm. And I'm just waiting for the bubbles, because I'm like, I imagine that a wall of bubbles would come down the hall. <laughs> you no, know, it was a wall of water that came down the hall. <laughs> and we had marble floors, mm-hmm. so they just, they just slid on down the hall mm-hmm. and into the uh, den <laughs> and into the kitchen. Oh, God. And Vera screamed, where did all this water coming from? And mm-hmm. she went to the bathroom, tried to unlock the door. She unlocked the door. She finally got the door unlocked. Mm-hmm. And there was the wall of bubbles. <laughs> so trust me, I deserve that meeting. I was mean. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Ed, That's... What is, have you ever done anything vicious like that? Um... I would not say... I don't even know if that qualifies as vicious. I, I qualify... Just mischievous. Well, and You're a mischievous, a mischievous yeah, child. That, that, that mm-hmm. was... I mean, that was... Mm-hmm. Hilarious, but mm-hmm. no, like, super... Mm-hmm. No, you know, I, I really never did get into anything super crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, man, the only thing... Do, my mom... I'll tell you, the one time my mom really flipped out on me, I had this little basketball. It was, like, real, like, uh, rubbery. Like a kickball, mm-hmm. basically. Well, I grew up in a trailer park. Uh-huh. You know? And I would kick that ball up against the skirt of the trailer for hours. Mm-hmm. And my mom would be sitting inside, and it would just be <clears throat> thwack. Mm-hmm. Thwack. And she'd come out and say, stop, mm-hmm. stop, mm-hmm. stop mm-hmm. kicking it, stop I kicking it. Mm-hmm. I feel her. She came out with a, you guys remember a Ginsu? Do you ever see the Ginsu knife? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Cut through like a pipe. Mm-hmm. Came out with a Ginsu knife and gutted that ball right <laughs> on the front lawn, <laughs> right in front of the neighbors and everything. <laughs> Threw it down in the driveway mm-hmm. and then went back inside. Mm-hmm. And I learned my lesson. I never kicked balls into the house anymore. <laughs> Bless her heart. She had a burden with you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, threw a, she threw a damn frying pan at me once, yeah. too. Oh, <laughs> I deserve that, too. Oh, oh my God. I was just a I recall kid, that's all. being 15 and wanted to learn how to drive. That was, that was my whole thing. I wanted to learn how to drive. I want to learn how to drive. My dad's like, I'm not going to teach you how to drive. You want to learn how to drive? They have driving school at your school. I'll pay Driver for it. school. No, I want you to treat. Me. I want you to teach me how to drive. So for weeks and weeks and weeks, I just pestered him <clears throat> about teaching me how to drive. So one night, we are making a furniture delivery because he owned a furniture store. <clears throat> making a furniture delivery. It was super late at night. We're coming back. We're on six ten. He says, he pulls over it onto the shoulder says, get out of the truck. I get out of the truck. I'm like, did we, did something happen or what have you? Get in the driver's side, you're going to drive. <clears throat> so I got in the driver's side. I was super excited. Got in the driver's side and got on 610 and he's, he's like, faster. You got to go faster. If you're going to be on here, you got to go fast. <clears throat> That's the one thing you're going to have to learn when you're on the freeway. You got to go fast. <clears throat> so we drove all around, I drove all around 610, all the way around. It was amazing, which leads up to this this story. Okay. Me and my best friend, I told him what happened like weeks later, and he's like, you didn't learn how to drive. I'm like, yeah. He goes, show me you learned how to drive. I'm like, how do I do that? <clears throat> so I'm like, oh, I know what to do. They go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. The truck is parked right in front of the window. So we'll just push the truck out into the street. Oh, <clears throat> no, girl. Then we'll push it down the street because my dad recognizes the 
he put that engine in there. He he knows what that engine sounds like. It was like straight out of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so we pushed it all, we pushed it three blocks all the way down the street till we got to the traffic light. I started the truck and we just drove. We just drove. We drove for like three and a half hours. I'm like, we're only going to drive for ten minutes and then we got to get back because my parents might wake up or something. We drove for three and a half hours. <clears throat> the, the sun was coming up. I rushed to get back home. We pushed the pushed the truck down the street, three blocks, park it directly right in front of. We even made a little dip where the because it was muddy that day. Yeah, yeah. So we made sure we put it right back. That took another hour. <clears throat> we made sure we put it right back in that exact same hole so he wouldn't know anything was going on. We <clears throat> he rushes home to his parents' house. I go in the room. I take off my clothes. I go to bed. <clears throat> Two hours later, I hear my parents wake up. They're talking. They're doing their normal mor- morning routine. <clears throat> he goes out to, the, he goes outside. I sneak out of the room just to make sure everything went okay because mm-hmm. I'm like freaking out. <clears throat> so he go walks over to the truck, and the first thing he does is he looks at the truck, and he just looks at. He stands there for like five minutes, and he just looks at the truck, <clears throat> and I'm like, oh shit. Uh oh, Dad sees something wrong. He sees something wrong. <clears throat> and then he just shakes his head and gets in the truck. And he drives off. And my mother, my mother was standing right behind me. I didn't know she was standing behind me. My mother's standing my, behind me and she goes, What are you doing up this early in the morning? <clears throat> um, and why are you watching your dad get in the truck? <clears throat> uh, so really? I was just up. <laughs> you just looking guilty. I was just up, and I was like, oh, I'll just, it's a beautiful morning. I'll take a look outside. See, how, oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Look at that. It's just going to be really beautiful. And my mother is looking at me like, what is, what is wrong with you? <laughs> well, mother's no, mm-hmm. mother's no. And she's like, mean. I know you did something. I know you did something. So, I don't know what it was. What scary story does this lead into? <clears throat> oh, this leads into the fact that Three months later, uh, my dad and I were sitting. My dad is a lecturer. He's not a beater. His lectures will beat you up. <clears throat> he is a master at lecturing you. So his lectures will beat the fuck out of you. Mm-hmm. So we're sitting there talking, and we're just talking. He just wants to know how my day is and everything else. And then he goes, hey, uh, by the way, I know that you took my truck out. And I'm like... What are you talking about? I forgot all about it. It's three months later. I forgot all about it. Mm-hmm. I thought I got away with it. <clears throat> I completely forgot about it. It was one of those high five moments in my head where I'm like, yes! Got away with something. Ha! <clears throat> ha! <clears throat> and he goes, yeah, I know that you... I know you stole the truck. <clears throat> I sure did. And he goes, in, in fact, one of my police... Because you knew a lot of police guys. <clears throat> saw us driving by <clears throat> called him on the phone while we were out driving and said I your son and his friend are in your truck and he's like <clears throat> should I arrest them or what he's like no just let them do that thing. I want him to let him get away with it <clears throat> let him get away with it and then three months later bam there it was right there on the table I had nothing to say absolutely nothing to say <clears throat> and I thought he was going to whoop my ass right then and there and he just said, listen, I know everything that you do from the time that you walk out this door to the time that you go to school. I have people watching you oh, everywhere. See, parents always so used to say that. My mama used to say that. Don't tell me. I have eyes in the back of my damn head. Because I know that you stopped at the little convenience store down the road to get to put gas in the truck. Oh, by the way, thank you for putting gas in the truck. That's the only way that I knew for sure that you got away with it because... The gas tank was almost on E, and you put gas in the in the truck. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so don't ever think that you can get away with. That was the scariest moment of my life. Oh my god! <clears throat> because I thought I'd gotten away with shit, and that, he that knew was the scariest every moment of detail life, of everything that I did that night because wow. people told him <clears throat> for three bucks. He would just ask questions, and oh yeah, I saw your son. Blah blah blah. He was at such and such. <clears throat> <clears throat> that that's 
that's when it's really scary. Mm. <clears throat> when you think you get away with something, and they know exactly. It, they didn't need modern technology. They had word of mouth. Wow. Mm-hmm. They sure do. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, you beat by your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. it's community, you know? Yes, People talk mm-hmm. to each other back then. Mm-hmm. That, that, that so-and-so Hillary Clinton said it in her book. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a village. <laughs> And sometimes it takes know, a village to be all you know, of your Sometimes business. with Hillary, it takes a hitman. <laughs> oh shit! Because you don't think she ain't hired a damn hitman in her life. Oh, oh, she, oh I didn't say that, y'all. I didn't say that. Well, well, she, she, she coming after you. Y'all are gonna get the <laughs> Illuminati all on us now. Woo, no, <laughs> we don't need no Illuminators. <laughs> I don't know who the Illuminators are, but I don't want you coming to my house. No. This ain't my house, by the way. This is Joe's house. <laughs> y'all come and kill that bitch. Mm-hmm. And oh, I don't want you dead, girl. But if y'all need to hurt him mm-hmm. to get over it, y'all can hurt him. Oh. <laughs> That's like, I got your back, man. Mm-hmm. But like, no, guys, totally, it's cool. Don't worry about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, mm-hmm. what other scary... Tales do you have to tell this Halloween? You know what? Though? Here's the thing. I don't know if it's gonna scare us as much as it might scare him. I ain't scared. He ain't scared. I ain't scared. Can handle himself. Okay. You, this is a y'all. Mm-hmm. This man is formidable. Mm-hmm. Formidable. Mm-hmm. For, he can. For minute, 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 minute. Yes, he can yeah, handle himself. Mm-hmm. This is a tall man and mm-hmm. a bulky man who can handle his yeah. business. Mm-hmm. So I ain't scared. I know he ain't scared. No. <laughs> So how long have I been know how how long have we known each other? What three years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's 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 be real. Let's just talk, man. Yeah. I ain't scared. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. So here's the thing. Pornhub. Okay. Pornhub. Oh, yeah. Pornhub. Oh, Pornhub. Oh, Pornhub. Oh, Pornhub. Right. Going down yes. the road. Porn, Pornhub. Pornhub. Okay. This put out a list of the most popular uh, categories, both. Straight and gay. Uh-huh. Here's the thing, though. Uh, one of the things on the list ends up on both the gay list and the straight men's list. Oh, I know what it is already because I'm gay and I, I know these things. Mm-hmm. I've got that gay intuition mm-hmm. going. Mm-hmm. That gay intuition. Mm-hmm. Uh, what number do you think it was at? I mean, well, what do you number. Not what number. No, no, no. What do you me. think it was? I know what it was. Tell me what you think it was. Big dicks. There you go. Big dicks. Most popular categories are both the straight male side and the gay male side. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> on the straight man side, it's number 10 on the list. Mm-hmm. On the gay man side, it's number 29 on the list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know why, though? Mm-hmm. All right. I can... I can mm-hmm. uh, uh, this... Oh, how, do, how do I... What is that? I think what I'm what I'm really what I'm really this uh uh it's a big word anyway big <laughs> word <laughs> so anyway, I, can disavow, I can disavow yeah. anyone mm-hmm. from from speaking to this issue mm-hmm. by saying simply this mm-hmm. don't nobody not like a big dick <laughs> everybody likes a big mm-hmm. dick <clears throat> and that's just the fucking truth mm-hmm. you may not want to fuck with that big dick. Mm-hmm. But everybody likes a big dick. Mm-hmm. And that's just the truth. 100% mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. What, what's wrong with a big dick? No, exactly. You exactly. know you, you feel sorry for anybody with a little dick. You feel like, oh, <laughs> <"I'm gonna laughs> <stop." laughs> And you don't want to be that motherfucker with a little dick. <laughs> that's, so, and that's true. A little dick so, might stare yeah. in a man's heart. Absolutely. Because you yeah, see that question. Like, yes, Am I does. that small? <laughs> Who's watching porn and wants to watch a porn with like a guy with a regular dick? No, no one. Nobody. It's, no it's one. fantasy. It's regular. Fantasy. It's, it's yeah. Um, regular is bigger than the dude I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dude who scares everybody who's got a little tiny micro penis. And <laughs> well, I said penis, but it is a penis. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that it, dick. Mm-hmm. No. But a regular dick is okay. But a big dick. Mm-hmm. Wins every time. I mean, I guess. I just probably. Right? I mean, Ed, Ed will admit mm-hmm. it, and mm-hmm. Ed's not gay. No. 100% mm-hmm. straight, but it's true. Mm-hmm. You know what? And you know what? Here's from the straight perspective. Mm-hmm. I can see this. Well, you want that bitch to be pounded. Mm-hmm. And you, it takes a big dick to pound a bitch, especially a, a bitch who's in porn. 
It's because she done had three at, at one time. Uh, <laughs> so, well, I mean, I guess it really depends on what you're into. Mm-hmm. And stuff like yeah, exactly. That. But that, you want to see... Well, that, you, you, you know, like, everyone... make love every, to a woman. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think guys out there also like, God damn, I bet, I, like, you know, I think, I, I think there's an inherent mm-hmm. thing in a guy's mm-hmm. mind when mm-hmm. he looks at porn and he's like, you know, I could do, I could do porn. Yeah, my, my dick's that big. Mm-hmm. Like, and then you're, like, you you're trying to... Oh, I'm sorry. Ed. No, 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 no. And you're just like going into yeah, I fucking derailed. Mm-hmm. No, you had a point. Well, my point was, you don't want to. Nobody, gay men, and mm-hmm. even even gay men yeah, don't mm-hmm. want the dick to be so big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That it's off putting. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about a ten inch. Yeah, a dangerous. Ten mm-hmm. inches is the mm-hmm. is the, the max. Yeah, ten inches yeah. is the ten max. Ten inches is the max. That's the max. You don't want to see a twelve. You, ten inch, or but you want to see an eight to ten. Mm-hmm. You got the eight to ten range. Mm-hmm. You don't want to see a six. Well, you you can see a six. Six is cool. Yeah. Seven is okay. Six is the average. Seven, seven is six is seven is okay. The average I, size dick. I actually of, like of a normal yeah. man. These mm-hmm. poor men walking around with these little dicks. Bless your heart, children. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Shout out to the little dicks out there. I love you. You're but talking I'm about not length. Suck it. Mm-hmm. But what about girth? What if you got girth like a is very important. Well, like, uh, but what if it goes to, like literally like a cocaine cock, you know, like a, well, like a chode? It, it, like listen, a, I've seen. Listen, come on, I've seen a man talk about a Halloween story. <laughs> we pull up. Okay, picture it. Mm-hmm. Houston, mm-hmm. nineteen ninety-eight. Mm-hmm. I meet a man at a bar after he sings country music, and he sings. He has a band, and he sings, and I'm just. He looks a little bit like Garth Brooks, I have to say. And mm-hmm. I'm like, ooh, girl, mm-hmm. how you darn? And so I wink, and he winks after he gets off his set. And I'm like, hmm. So I walked over, and I said, I really enjoy your music. It's really cool. He's a country singer. I like country music. And and actually, I did that thing that I do. Mm-hmm. I, I did that thing that I do when I'm talking to uh, men who are a little more Mm-hmm. On the heterosexual side uh-huh. of gayness, the butch side of gayness, I went. I went there, mm-hmm. y'all. I betrayed myself. I went there. I went a little butch, and I said, <clears throat> "Honey, I've known men who suck dick for a Kit Kat, so that's nothing." So I um, went. I went like that. that is nothing. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. I really liked your music. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. girl, it was on from then. It was on. Mm-hmm. So we ended up naked in the bathroom. Not the bathroom, girl. I'll do the bathroom. And it, and anyway, we ended up kissing at the bar, blah, 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 but not too much. So we get in his car. We're on the way home. We get to my driveway, and he wants to have a little kiss in, in the driveway mm-hmm. before we go upstairs. So we do, and I reach down and to grab his dick. I've never in my life, I was like, ooh, oh, ooh. Ooh, what am I? Oh, <laughs> what is happening in this man's pants? <laughs> so I have to pull the pants down. No, unzip the pants. I've never seen anything like it. It was like a toadstool. Mm-hmm. It was it was three inches long and it was hard, and it was at least six inches thick. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> What universe am I in? Is this an alien from outer space? I've never seen anything like this. Mm-hmm. So he said, So we're going to go upstairs? And I said, My dog bites. <laughs> and I said, I forgot to mention that. No, he's very antisocial. I'm sorry, we just can't. I said, Gotta go, bye. So yes, thick is good, but thick can be bad. Yeah. But think is always good, and don't think, don't, well, no. don't get it twisted. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. no, I get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think you might be a little too high. I might be. <laughs> but no, because you were going down the like, 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 toads. You don't want to go there. No, no, it, it was like it, it was a toad store. I was like, wait, if you eat it, do you get really big or really small? <laughs> Well, since Randy did not decide to do the Alice in Wonderland I thing, did not and went up, he, yeah, he went upstairs. I didn't know Alice had a toadstool. <laughs> well, no, it, it was a little drink, but mm-hmm. I, you could go. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. I so through the looking glass, mm-hmm. Alice in Wonderland, mm-hmm. or Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mario mm-hmm. may have eaten a toadstool, but it wasn't that one. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I don't think anybody pictures. wants to eat that. I bet that toadstool's being eaten right now. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am sitting over here with my. And good for that. And good, good and for that job. With his toadstool, yeah. uh, somebody is slobbing on that toadstool right now. <laughs> and look at 
at me making fun of him. Mm -hmm. And here I am, not even a toadstool to tote on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I you know sure what? Hate it. You know what? It is break time. It's break it's time, bitch. Break bitch. time. We're going to some tea. Break time. It's tea for the bitches. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be right back. We've, we've had a good time so far with Miss Randy and Ed. What's up, Mr. Guys? Ed, Mr. Bitch. Ed. Mr. Ed. Mr. Wilbur. <laughs> Wilbur. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. We'll be right back. I've always wanted to grow a beard. I'm sorry. What's up, guys? <clears throat> Ed and I have known each other for how long now? About three years. Mm -hmm, three years. Uh, interesting story about Ed. <clears throat> when I when I first met him, I was hanging out with my friend Thomas at the time, and uh, Thomas. I'm, yeah. How's he doing? Uh, he's fine, I guess. Good. Not good. really. We really not on the. Uh, we're taking a break. No, I get you. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're taking a break, mm -hmm. so it's fine. But. Uh, 
I'm sorry. When I met, <clears throat> when I when I was talking to Thomas, Thomas and I were in the middle of a conversation where he's like, so, uh, yeah, you keep telling me how to meet girls, but you, you don't go out and try to meet guys and blah, 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 blah. And I'm you like, tell me that all the time. <laughs> I'm I like, never look for anybody. I'm like, okay, um, I meet guys all the time. He goes, no, you meet guys all the time. You don't meet guys all the time. Oh, 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 oh no. Mm-hmm. He was throwing shade. You yeah. trick, all, you trick yeah. all the time. Yeah. He was no, 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 no. What he was uh, saying is, is that I meet straight guys all the time. Oh, uh, no, no, no. But I don't I got a lot of buddies, but no one's buying what I'm selling. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, so, why, is he being, why, why is he being hurtful like that? <laughs> no, he wasn't being hurtful. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, he yeah. was just trying to encourage him yeah, to go out and meet Tough men. life. Yeah, tough a little tough life. Out there. Um, so I'm like, well, hell, I mean, there's nobody here, and whatever. So, Ed comes walking up the steps. I'm like, yeah, I'm going for that. Ooh! <laughs> I'm going for that. I was, well, I was so y'all, that y'all don't see Ed. Y'all don't okay. see Ed, but Ed is quite uh, he is, he's a, a handsome man. man. Right? He is a hunk of a man. He, he is, is a man. He is a man. There's no y'all question. make me feel so mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I'm, no I'm, I'm going to tell you that right man. now. Because mm-hmm. okay. this is the only time I get this praise. Mm-hmm. I promise. Oh, you are a good looking man. I got a ten. I don't even. I've got a face for radio. I don't know where this woman is. I don't know where this woman is, but. I don't know what she's doing wasting her time. Mm-hmm. This is a man. You know? Yeah, that's a man right there. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. Get out on this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get on, on that train. Get, um, get, get on it. So, mm-hmm. so, so I had made it a point that I was going to like, I'm like, I'm going to talk to this guy and then kind of feel him out a little bit and see where. Or feel him up. <laughs> I'm hoping that feeling him out would end up with feeling him up. But it ended up with, oh. Another straight guy. And <laughs> well, like, that happens because you and I are attracted to mm-hmm. men who are on the masculine scale. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with men who are on the feminine scale. Mm-hmm. I'm one of them. And I love my sisters. But mm. you can't. I think mine is a bit Fuck a off. It's a bit foggy. If if It's like a TV screen with a little bit of film on it. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like... I don't, I'm not looking for... I just see... Well, I, just saw, I just saw a good looking man... Yeah, and I'm like, I'm gonna go talk to this good looking man. That's right. all I saw. I didn't know if he was but gay, to look at him, gay or straight. You could, if he I would have been happy with bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my. I would have been so happy with bye. Yeah, you know, exactly. and Joel, as you all know yeah. from the past shows, that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and they always want to talk about all the bitches they fuck oh, yeah. while I'm sucking the damn dick. <laughs> it's like, excuse me. Can you wash? Did you wash this thing? <laughs> Do I need to wash this motherfucker? Because <laughs> mm. I, I mm. feel like I'm tasting fish. Mm. So I just rough to know it. That's what I do. I end up wa- walking up to guys and just having a conversation because I find them attractive. I don't know what their sexuality is. I just find them attractive for some reason. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that's you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, get out there and socialize. Yeah, anyways, exactly. Because so that's I'll tell what you I do. What, mm-hmm. You know, one flattered that I was like your comeback kid on that, mm-hmm. but uh, two, I, I love you. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad we met. Like, mm-hmm. um, you're one of my favorite people. Like, I listen. I've been in Houston for four years. Mm-hmm. I don't get out. I don't drive around I don't I, I work down in the southwest mm-hmm. I, I know 59 mm-hmm. I live out in this area my dad lives you know like Sugarland area mm-hmm. those are the places I know so I don't know a lot of people mm-hmm. when I got here it was people like you that made me feel like I found a new home mm-hmm. and oh, I'm telling I, oh, that's very I'm nice sad. no I'm not saying oh, I'm, yeah. I'm saying oh that's like a very sweet, sweet yeah. thing to say mm-hmm. and you know what that was your truth and but no that's so, 100% mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. it's not you're not blowing smoke up anybody's ass mm-hmm. that was the truth mm-hmm. I appreciate people that can have the conversation mm-hmm. and, and try to think about yourself and then also think about what that person's gone through mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and have a real conversation there's not a lot of people that can do it nowadays mm-hmm. because of a, a, a number of reasons social media is a big one of them mm-hmm. and stuff like that but there's not that person to person connection anymore we don't right. have these conversations it's exactly. long form this is why I love the idea of a podcast mm-hmm. too because yeah. we don't have a long form conversation yeah exactly I, think, I do but well, I mean, I'm mean, i not a media person I don't do any social media yeah. Joel can tell you mm-hmm. girl I hate I, I turn my damn phone off but that's this woman yeah. the other day, well, I went to vote and this woman said you need to turn off your cell phone <laughs> I said I don't have what you went 
What? <laughs> the look on her face was like, bitch, what did he just say? She looked behind her like, Mildred, did you hear that? Because <laughs> all those volunteers in Cosby are 100 years old. It was hilarious. Mm. She's like, Mildred, this bitch doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's at home. Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay. But that look on her face was oh, priceless yeah. mm-hmm. when I told her. No, I'm just not that person. Mm-hmm. You know? And I make phone calls. I don't like text. Mm-hmm. I don't do Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, bitch, I know you devil. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stop trying to apologize for your shit, Mark, by the way, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Stop sending me your goddamn apology. Mm-hmm. And everybody else. Anyway. <laughs> Where I'm is. talking to Mark. Mark mm-hmm. is listening. You know oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, There's listen. a flag. Every time you say his name, I bet you anything, a flag pops up in that bitch. <laughs> Do y'all, listen. listen. And I don't want to get all like tinfoil hat stuff. Your fetish but ass. Do y'all have either Google Home or like um, no. the uh, Apple Home or anything like no, that? No, I don't want to do that. All right, so we have Google Home at my apartment. Mm-hmm. Nope. All right, so we've been playing this game Fortnite. It's mm-hmm. the, the, the craze right now. Yeah, it's the craze right now. Oh, my God, it's so fun. Um, mm-hmm. Don't spend money on it though. You can just put in the hours, put in the work, kids. <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. we're sitting there in my living room and we're talking about this video game. All right. So now Google Home sits over there, and the idea is if you say "Hey Google" or mm-hmm. um, you know, basically yeah, everybody Google. Knows. Everybody knows what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're sitting there. Nothing was said about Google. We're talking about this game. My roommate goes, "You know, well, I've established the fact that I can kill people. It's just you know." And as soon as he said that. Google Home popped on and started it was like I don't understand mm-hmm. and I was like man we're playing we're talking about a video game and this thing's recording us right now are you kidding like, me I just want to go home and unplug that shit mm-hmm. I know a guy I a, a customer of mine at work told me that he got that Google Home and when he got it him and his wife were talking about they were having a baby they were talking about strollers mm-hmm. bitch the next day their mailbox was full of fly you know mail mm-hmm. and for strollers and catalogs for strollers. He's like, this is no coincidence. He unplugged that motherfucker mm-hmm. and threw it in the closet. Have you ever done that as an experiment with the... Uh, no, I know oh, you no, say my you phone. Know. Right. Yeah, my phone. One time after Hurricane uh, Harvey. Yep. Mm-hmm. And y'all, judge me if you want to, but I'm not... I hate false sentiment. I mean, sen- sentiment. I can't stand false sentiment. Mm-hmm. I can't. And I'm very oh, I'm, cynical. I'm and I just... It irks me. So, all right, and y'all forgive me for saying this, but this is the situation. This is what happened. And if you skirt, it's Halloween, so bitch, you're supposed to. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. I was sitting at the house by myself watching TV, and I heard, Channel 11 is Houston Strong. I'm like, oh, God, Houston Strong. (laughs) Fuck. Mm -hmm. And so I walked out of the room. My phone wasn't even, the screen was dark. Everything. I get back, and it said, ways to give to Hurricane Harvey victims. And she actually said from Google, ways to give to Hurricane Harvey victims. I'm like, bitch, what? <laughs> that, they're listening to us right now. Oh, yeah. That's why I said, Mark motherfucking Zuckerberg, kiss all this ass and choke on the hair and the crack. This is, this is I will be holding auditions for a new host. <laughs> new new host. Some here, sometime in the future. Maybe next week. Give me a call. No, no, no. Because no, kids, get out your tinfoil hats. Because mm-hmm. now I'm getting really into this. All right. Uh-oh. So okay. Okay. the Google Home. I just I just realized this while we're sitting here talking about this. Mm-hmm. Google Home. Now there's there's um, if you're watching sports, NFL, mm-hmm. NBA, mm-hmm. their flip commercial. Well, I know I get you. I I'm get not you. that gay. There are gays who do. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I, get know. I don't think it's that gay. I will explain to you my. Thing but anyway, later. go ahead. But mm-hmm. all right, so they have uh, little bumps between, like you know, if there's a, a timeout or something like that, and there's a, a little program in the TV that talks to your Google Home. So it'll say, "Hey Google," and then it'll have a question, and then it answers with your Google Home that's in your living room. Now is that shit recording me, man? Yes. Mm-hmm. I gotta get rid of this thing. It's that's the devil. Right there. It's yeah. right. yes. yes. And you know who else is the devil? I've said it several times. I'm not going to say it again, Mark. You know who you are. <laughs> Have you? All right. Mm-hmm. Real quick. I'm sorry I'm jumping down this rabbit hole, but 23 and me, the DNA testing. You take your yeah. DNA and you send it into the internet. Oh, no. That's all That's all about... Uh, that's definitely profiling. Is they're trying to... There's good. something... They're working on something, girl. When they're going to give you a robotic something. replacement something, or some something's shit? Something's happening. Mm-hmm. So, no, the 23 and me is the most... 
It's your voluntary. The scariest, one. Mm-hmm. the scariest one is the 23 and me. It's crazy. Because my my sister got uh, the first test, genealogy mm-hmm. test, mm-hmm. and my parents spit in the tube and sent it out. Hey, girl. Three months later, my mother's calling I sent you a tube of my saliva, and I haven't heard back from you. So that's not the one. Mm-hmm. That test is not the one. That was some leaf or something mm-hmm. from yeah. the family tree, some leaf yeah. shit. This one, this one is too much. It's too on top. They can tell you too much on the this one. Because a guy from work told me about, <coughs> you know, a while back when it came out, that they traced his roots all the way back to his great, 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 great. Mm-hmm. Grandfather in Ireland, mm-hmm. and knew where what his grandfather did for a living, and and mm-hmm. all the family set up the whole family tree. Mm-hmm. That one's that one's creepy. All of your genetics. Yeah, but here's like what type of quantum computers do they need to be able to map that much DNA? Mm-hmm. Girl, that's some know real deep I, stuff. You know mm-hmm. how I feel about the aliens, honey. They trying to see who's good stock for slavery and who's good stock for eating. And bitch, you know as big as I am with my arthritis, bitch, you know I'm gonna get eight. But who, who wins in this scenario? Who wins? I do. Yeah. Do you really want to have because that slave make, life? You can make pot roast out of me if you want to. Just make it or quick. meatloaf. Yeah. Mm. You can freeze me and do it. I won't know. I'll be with the Lord, honey. You can just do whatever you want to. Just kill me first. Make sure I'm dead. So I can go to see my Lord. But mm-hmm. uh-uh. I don't want to be a slave to these damn aliens. Oh. No. Mm-hmm. Working some like carbon mm-hmm. mine on the This moon. is some scary Halloween shit we're talking about, mm-hmm. y'all. It is. So can I Or it can- Ooh. Or it, I have something I wanted to say that's scary for all of Or it. it could be a simple government conspiracy to oh, to map out certain genetic qualities in certain individuals to create they, some kind of uh, either super, super army, army or to create Captain a new ma- America. A new, okay, a new master Earth. android race. Uh, all right, so, Captain Planet. It's so we should. Have. I want. I want to tell you. <laughs> well, I want to tell y'all what I, mm-hmm. I've been doing with my time lately since I'm uh, retired. <laughs> and I'm not really retired, but I'm retired. When you have because too much of my time on your hands. <laughs> too much time, time on, on your hands. hands. <laughs> and it's taking away, taking away from me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, bitch, it's been ticking. So I've been watching. I watched Ancient Aliens the other day. This is some scary fucking mm-hmm. shit. Okay? Mm-hmm. According to Ancient Alien, did you see this shit? The moon is actually a star base. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like the Death Star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dark side of the moon. This, we never seen that. No, yeah, no, exactly. fuck that shit. The entire moon yeah, yeah. is made of metal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And every crater in the moon is the exact same uh, depth. Mm-hmm. Exact same depth. And listen to this shit. Fucking Buzz Aldrin, his old ass who was dead, by the way. Buzz Aldrin did this shit before he died because he was like, <laughs> bitches, I wasn't allowed to talk until now. Guess what? You can't I'm take talking. nothing from me now. I'm talking now, motherfuckers. <laughs> Come kill my ass and shut me up because guess what? I've got cancer. I'm ready to go anyway. <laughs> so Buzz Aldrin was on this show and he said, oh, yeah, we accidentally dropped a piece of equipment on the moon from... The rocket as mm-hmm. it was taken off, and it was a, it weighed five tons. Bitch, it hit the moon, and they had seismic reactors on the moon because they wanted to try to get a scale of what happens when meteors hit the moon. They put those up there, and <laughs> the moon rang like a bell for an hour. That's crazy. And then, as an experiment, because. The president was like, oh, you bitch, no way, bitches. Not the president, I'm sorry. President of NASA, whatever they call yeah. that motherfucker. Anyway, he was like, y'all need to stay. We got we got to do a test. So, drop something heavier. So, they dropped a heavier object on the moon. And it rang for three and a half hours. It reverberated for three and a half hours. The moon is hollow, and it's made of metal. It scares me. I'm having nightmares tonight. <laughs> Ooh, this and, is the be- 
and <laughs> that's a Halloween story it hits about it. hollow and it reverberates because something hit it, and every damn crater on the moon is the same depth. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what does that mean, though? Why are what they the same depth? It means that the moon is. Bullshit and we're bullshit. screwed. I thought that shit was happen. made out of cheese. Mm -hmm. I wish that motherfucker was made out of cheese. <laughs> you don't have any fucking cheese? I no, we don't. I'd rather have more fucking cheese than aliens, uh, alien technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm more worried about an insidious government experiment. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just I as much as I would like to believe Why in the aliens, about an insidious because I'm human intrigued. beings are far scarier. Than any alien ever. Okay, well. So the you, idea of another human being doing horrific things is terrifying to me. So did you see the show that I saw on my time off again? I'm sitting here watching television. <laughs> that uh, back in the war with Germany, you know, mm -hmm. they found this man. WW2. WW2. Uh, WW2, honey. They found this professor uh, that was experimenting mm -hmm. with uh, biologic mm -hmm. shit, like uh, trying to. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hi uh, hybrids. Yeah. He was mm -hmm. dealing with hybrids, was a genetic genesis? hybrids. Mm -hmm. Yes, a geneticist. And so, girl, he had a monkey with four butts. <laughs> Uh, no, no a monkey was inseminated by a man. A female monkey was inseminated by a man. Uh, that experiment failed. However, then he inseminated a woman with a monkey's sperm. Well, they caught him before they found out what the results would be and apparently terminated the pregnancy. This woman, by the way, she was not volunteering. It, this, you know, <laughs> this poor woman. She's like, "What? An eight? What? You know, what? <laughs> she's like, you ain't. No, wait a minute, bitch. You're not sticking no monkey sperm up in my ass, up in my vagina. That's terrible. But that's terrible. what had happened. So anyway, they he, he, they caught him. Yeah. But theoretically, he was doing it to create a master race yeah. of soldiers. For Hitler. Yeah. Well, Hitler had a crazy occult thing, too, where he was like, uh -huh. that whole, yeah, right, so like, do you, do you follow this comics? This is scary Halloween yeah, shit, Halloween. Hellboy. Oh, 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 yeah. So, Hellboy. Hell have to lock the doors and the windows. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you, do you know much about Hellboy? Uh, yes, I do. So the, the Nazi occult yeah. and stuff like that? All right. Mm -hmm. So that's where that whole comic comes from, mm -hmm. the idea that Hitler was just a crazy motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Hitler was a crazy motherfucker! Took over some shit. Mm -hmm. And he was like, and there's some witchcraft and shit, too. Like, mm -hmm. that's and crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Y'all, that's some Halloween shit for so you. So, mm -hmm. what do you guys fear? All right, so, like... Uh. In like genre, I idea wise, so we talked about like alien technology and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. We talked about how humans, the, the actual fear of like how ruthless a human uh, mm -hmm. can be. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, we, right, yeah. So mm -hmm. like slasher films, uh, um, alien invasions, like the fourth kind and stuff like that. What like type of horror movie scares you the most? Like possessions. Like for me, it's like I grew up like French Catholic, so mm -hmm. possession movie kind of hits home to me. So watching like The Exorcist mm -hmm. or like The Exorcism of Emily Rose when that girl's twisting and contorting oh, yeah. Me, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. freaks me the fuck out. I yeah. can't deal with it. Mm -hmm. Ruins my day. Like, what what, what yeah, gets you that's going? That's a good question, Ed. We're going to let Joe ask that question before I do. Because frankly, I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest. Are it's, you all into horror? Do you yeah. like... Do you when, like I, when, I, yeah. when I watch horror, the... I'm going to be... Okay, so let me take it like this. Possession movies make me laugh, <laughs> and ghost stories too. Because that's silly, and they're just silly. And well, after a while, I mean, okay. So what's after a while, they're all, okay. Yeah, they're, what they're scares you? and what alien horror movie scares you. Slasher films, oh, because it's a human being. That's a true person. Yeah, that's, that's true. a true person. Because you could literally be in any. I could be walking down the street, coming home from work, uh -huh. and someone with a 
various weapons that slashers use. And they're called slasher movies. They're not, yep. they're not called gun Nuh-uh. movies. Gun movies, so, no. Yeah. Sla- like, yeah it's, listen, Cut Me mm, Up's a lot more personal. Mm, mm, it is yeah, it's a lot personal. more personal. I mean, that's, a lot that's, scarier. No, mm, I agree with you mm, on the slasher mm, front. Mm, but I have to movies. say, I have to say, oh, girl, that's Strangler different. movies. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's I have terrible. to say I agree with you on the slasher front. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my mother is the type, she told me, mm-hmm. we can't watch this. Cause we watch movies together. I love that woman. Mm-hmm. I love me some Vera, honey. Mm-hmm. And Vera is the shit. She's crazy mm-hmm. as hell. She worries me to death sometimes, but that is my heart. And so we sit there and we watch TV together, movies, especially Netflix. We just watch the hell out of Netflix. And so I'm searching on Netflix. She goes, "It's okay. That's a scary movie, but is it a person killing people or a monster killing people?" Because I can watch a monster. I can't watch the Black Lagoon, though. Because he was almost a man. <laughs> and that's too much. He's too close. He's three that's, quarters. Yeah, that's, that's too close. Swamp oh, thing freaked the shit out of me. It's not... The, no. It's not a slap. I'm telling you, I don't like that Jason. And I don't like I didn't that, either. that mm. Freddy Krueger. No. Although Freddy, Freddy Krueger, Krueger, Krueger was like... He wasn't like a human being. He was like he was at one a, time. He was so at one he time. Was a human being, and then time. he turned into this dream that's, monster. Yeah, thing. but that's too much for Reba. Yeah, but it's, mm. uh, it's kind of like the demonic like uh, residue of mm-hmm. the horrible things he did to those mm-hmm. kids. Yeah, exactly. It's like that whole like you know. And she's Catholic. She was. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. She was brought up Catholic mm-hmm. for a little while. Mm-hmm. I was only Catholic for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was she. Yeah. But mm-hmm. the, girl, Catholic sticks. <laughs> I don't, know. <laughs> I don't mean no harm to Catholic. Like, Catholic does stick. But that shit sticks. Mm-hmm. Oh, stick. Lord, I just said that shit. I don't mean no harm. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to say. Mm-hmm. Catholic y'all, sticks. Y'all want to hear about some of the sticks? Y'all try, f- try growing up Southern Baptist and everybody telling you that you're going to burn in hell for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, here's the thing. For the I, rest of eternity. I never mm-hmm. understood the fact that you could just, like, go in into a box and, like, the, you go into... All right, so you go into the penalty box for two minutes with Father yep. O'Hallahan oh, and, girl, and you tell careful. him... All you, you, the bad shit you did, mm-hmm. and then he's going to tell you a certain amount of our fathers or Hail Marys you have mm-hmm. to say, and it erases all your shit. <laughs> well, you, you know could what? be a fucking on the heroin. You, know you could be on the devil's lettuce. Mm-hmm. We got to. We got, got to. We got to. Woo, I'm got sorry. To shut that down, because yeah. I got to tell you, we have a lot of. We have a huge base of Catholics, and we love everybody. And yeah, I know you love everybody. I'm sorry, I do and love everybody. Got, and we all have our thing. Mm-hmm. We all have our thing. But uh, the Baptists do some fucked up shit. The Catholic does some fucked Everyone up shit. Does. God yeah. knows, you Jehovah's Witnesses. Shame on you, motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, mm-hmm. we're not trying to hold anything against anybody. Scientologists, you motherfucking assholes. I will, anyway. I will put Scientology on the table as the exception to the rule. Right. Exactly. I, I Scientology and I'm just, sorry. I'm sorry. You I want, goddamn Mormons. I don't know what you're doing with them skirts. We already talked about this on the show. <laughs> anyway. Marie Osmond. Girl, you better ask somebody. Anyway. But go ahead. No, no, no. I, not to say anything you know, negative or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, because, listen, I love... I'm not super religious myself, but mm-hmm. I love the idea of it, and I love people that love people, mm-hmm. and community. Yeah, community, and, and, and that's I love. Yeah. It. Yes, indeed, mm-hmm. it's good stuff. Mm-hmm. But okay, so back to my horror. Mm-hmm. My, the the thing that scares me, the horror film that scares me, is it's kind of a mix, kind of a mix. Mm-hmm. But ghost stories, by the way, you say it's not. Mm-hmm. Guess no. what? It. It's not on Lifetime and those mm-hmm. shit shows that go on. Mm-hmm. You know, that's bullshit. When mm-hmm. that man on whatever history channel or whatever channel it is, where those ghost hunters, bitch, ain't no ghost showing up for your I, ass. So, ooh, you know, you know, know, know the funny like, sidebar? Ghost, ghost movies Why? scare me. Why are ghosts anything on the on the history channel? All right, so ghost, uh, ghost, <laughs> ghost shows? Ghost movies scare me because I've seen, I've mm-hmm. actually... I, I do kind of believe in in, in the room with the ghost, yeah, but yeah. 
And ghosts are real. But so the idea of a ghost show is is ingenious though because mm. they found a way to produce a show that you're constantly like, oh my god, On what's coming edge. next? Yeah. Oh my god, what's coming next? Yeah. And then at the end, it's like, well, we had a good time at uh, mm. the uh, sanitarium over here, and mm. you know, we didn't, we found some stuff, but everything's good. And we love it. We love. Mm. I still get up and watch that show every night. Mm -hmm. like, well, I, have a, I have a combination horror movie. Because the movie is a, pardon me, a combination of ghost and possession, and those that's the Insidious series. Okay. The Insidious series is awesome because it combines ghosts. Oh yeah. And demons. Yeah. So, and girl, don't think for a second, and y'all, I'm calling Ed girl because I call everybody girl. Girl, don't think for a second that demons aren't real because. That's what demons want you to think. Absolutely. And you better get you some Jesus, y'all. Hey, listen, y that's scary Seriously. as hell. That is some Halloween stuff because that's the most, listen, you're the most vulnerable to it. Everyone, yes. no one when has... You say, when you say, I don't have faith, Yeah. I have no faith, you better get ready. Yeah. Demon, that's opening up a crack, honey, and the demons is listening. And I'm not talking about the crack that Whitney died from. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. And Whitney would never be a demon. Bless your heart, Whitney. Sure, I'm glad. I'm actually very glad that you said that because you're. Well, you're actually, no, actually, uh, oh. it's true. If you don't have any faith, yeah, it, it really does open it up to. We, we see it all. Like I said, we see it all the. That's my phone. I was we like, see it all the time. Lady here. <laughs> no, in fact, hey, Con. Yeah, it could be. We see it all the time. We, like I said, we just saw two instances of it happen last week. We we see this all the time, so it's not unusual. It's when people lose faith. Mm -hmm. That's when the crazy shit happens. That is when the crazy having, shit happens. Having faith in something. Look, I am not religious at all. I grew up in a. I grew up unusual because I grew up with black parents who did not. They didn't go to church. They were not church mm -hmm. people. Neither my father nor my mother were church people. The fact that the first time that I went to a church when I was, I think I was. Six, and I only went there because they had a pool, and I loved swimming at the time. And they were talking about baptism, I know that's and right. I went swimming uh, in the pool. pool. That's no. what I, he dug my head, and I said, "I got this," and I swam underwater, and I right? did some, some stuff. That's go. what I did, and everybody laughed, and I didn't even understand what was going on. But my, when my parents found out, they were livid. Really, they were livid. They're like, "You don't take my child to church. You don't. That's not. I, we are his parents. We're going to teach him what we believe in, and that is it." Which they believed in nothing. But you know what? But, to, give, to give your mm -hmm. parents their due, mm -hmm. out of respect mm -hmm. to your parents, there were a lot of people following that road mm -hmm. back in the 70s, girl. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. Uh, except for the fact that mm -hmm. if it made you mm -hmm. different and made you mm -hmm. feel bad, then there's something wrong with it. But, but see, here's the thing. it didn't. I really wasn't that concerned about it until I moved to the, to the South. Or Texas, I, I honestly don't even know if Texas is really the South. Texas is its own thing. It's I feel its like its own place. I found. Yeah, <laughs> I, is, but Texas is we're on especially like, but, when, but yeah, when we would this, be this. in situations with where we're among other black people, and they're like, "Well, what church do you go to?" Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't go to church. What do you mean you don't go to church? Have you not found a church? Let me tell you something. I know where you live. You can go down to, to blankety blank Baptist Church. Pastor, what's his name? He's great, blah, 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 blah. No, we don't go to church. We're not religious people. We don't go to church. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they were like, and it's not, they heard it, but they kept saying, oh, I know this church for you to go to, even though yeah. my parents were still saying, well, that's because, we don't go that's to church. Because that's what Christians do. Mm -hmm. And I have to amend something I just said mm -hmm. when I said there's nothing wrong with that. There is something wrong with it, but I was trying to be Mm -hmm. You know, kind mm -hmm. about Joel's parents, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not because I'm not trying to read nobody's parents. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, as a Christian, I have to say mm -hmm. that there's a lot wrong with that. But mm -hmm. that's not your fault. Mm -hmm. And if your parents were misguided in that direction, that's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I give Joel. I I joke with Joel because I know Joel is a person who has his own faith. I have my own faith. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in organized religion. Mm -hmm. I have my own faith, and I don't push it on anybody. Mm -hmm. But I've been pushing it on Joel because I feel like I have a responsibility because I love Joel to tell Joel, girl, you're going to hell. 
Yeah. <laughs> but Joe does not like it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want and I don't want to hurt Joe's feel. I would mm-hmm. never hurt Joe. And actually that's the opposite of what I'm trying mm-hmm. to do. But see, I'm going about it all wrong. Mm-hmm. I should simply say, you find your path and mm-hmm. I'm with you. And that's, that's what I it. should say. And that right that's there pretty much it. Is is the perfect interaction for there two you people go. having a conversation that about a, really a tough talk. <laughs> you found your path. You find your path. Everyone, I found mine. Everyone does. I can't take you yeah, down exactly. my road. And hey, yeah. some of us are still walking. Mm-hmm. Some of us, we are really every day mm-hmm. trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. If you talked to me four years ago. All right, so three mm-hmm. years ago when I first met Joel, mm-hmm. I'm a different guy right now than I was from mm-hmm. three years ago. You can ask he's, Joel right now. He's still hot, though. Ooh, he's still damn. Hot. <laughs> well, uh, he's even saying himself he's still hot. Yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> I, 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 I'm really going Joel. up and down with the weight and, re- like, real self-conscious and shit, but no, I mean, I know I'm a handsome man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, listen. Spoken if you, like <laughs> a true, confident straight man. Exactly. Yeah. Bam. Snaps. If Man. you only knew how nervous I am. Oh, um, mm-hmm. no, come on. Uh, for real, though, the weed helps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, I'm going to, no, I'm going to counter there that. There better not be any children listening to this oh, show. Sorry. We do not condone I, I'm weed. I'm going to counter that. But we but do condone weed. So y'all don't let it. And, and <laughs> well, actually, we have weed around here. Spend. I have known you for three years. Yes. The weed had nothing to do with it. Let me tell you something. That I, I think I need to remind you of this again. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I was attracted to you when I first saw you because, like I said, I have that screen up. I have yeah. that that film on my screen where I just I just enjoy t- I talk to attractive men. And if something happens, it's it's great. If some if something doesn't happen, it's even it's great. Yeah, it's it's fifty fifty. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's that was the whole thing. We had nothing to do with it. You are. No, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, yeah. So I, I always felt like that you were super cool. Period. Yeah, yeah. That's. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you. It's yeah, it's just period. Super cool, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and honestly, if like oh, I feel like I'm loving so much ad- admiration on you. Oh, geez. Yeah. I, don't don't let it go, man. You know, I, I have to I have to put this out here because it is 100 percent true. I wouldn't be doing this show if it wasn't for this man sitting across from me because we we were supposed to do a show. And then we had a bad night. We had a really bad night because we tried to do the show, and everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. I mean, mm-hmm. it was a it, it was a learning experience, mm-hmm. but it did go terribly, terribly. It, it went ter- terribly, <laughs> terribly wrong, and I learned a lot of lessons from that. Well, I mean, hey, man, you're doing it. Mm-hmm. This is this is a hundred percent proof of it. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I I have all the love and admiration of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And I even had that conversation with my roommates before I came over here mm-hmm. tonight. I was like, "Listen, man, Joel's doing it. Mm-hmm. We we everyone talks about stuff, man. Mm-hmm. And and I'm I'm a huge like do as I say, not as I do type mm-hmm. of guy. But I'm also a why not type of guy. And mm-hmm. and and I find that in you. That's mm-hmm. awesome, a good trait to have because mm-hmm. that's what happens. You know, mm-hmm. it spawns creativity and 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 you know we're building community because mm-hmm. of that. Well, uh, bless I feel good. You should yeah, feel good. good. You're doing, you're doing, well, you're doing, well, you're doing the Lord's work is what I'm saying. But I'm you know, the saying. beautiful thing is, is that I also, when I, when I sat down to think about doing the show, and I realized, okay, I can't do the show by myself, so I need someone who is funny, witty, and has got some, something going on. Randy, I'll call Randy on the phone. And see if Randy wants to do this. Yeah, I am. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm sort of retired. Mm-hmm. Let's do this." Yeah. Oh no, that was before my mm-hmm. sort of retirement, mm-hmm. which we're still working on, girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. Girl, I'm waiting on that check. Oh, <laughs> I'm deserving. And once I get, I'm not. I'm not once retired. Once I get that post office money, I'm going to be Oprah rich. Oh, bitch, please! I'm not going to be rich by any stretch, <laughs> but I can at least work ten hours a week, and I. Girl, I'm deserving. Yeah. But anyway, no, I was speaking of mean people, mean honey, oh, oh, what had happened? Mm. Uh, I will talk to you about that later. What? Any- <coughs> is this show worthy? It, it is show worthy. Go well, let's it. talk. Let's talk. What do you okay. Let's talk. Tell, we, do your You know, thing. this show is. I want to hear what you know, here's the beautiful say. thing. This is my segment, but I don't quarrel. Here's the beautiful thing. This show, I'm so glad that we're doing this show. Mm-hmm. And it's a Halloween, Halloween show because it's, 
It's it's so exciting. I can't. You know, here's the thing. You know that I talk, is so scaring me. I talked to my <laughs> I talked to my boss today at work, mm-hmm. and he's like, "So, how's the show going? It's going pretty good. It's a lot of work. When are you gonna let me listen to, listen to it? I don't want you to listen to it. Why do you not want me to listen to it? Because I want to keep work and this separate. separate. Yeah, separate. And he's like, "I really want to listen to your show." I'm like, "I'm not really." Mm, no, I don't want you to listen to listen, it. Listen, man, Clark Kent and mm-hmm. Superman don't have the same friends. Yeah, exactly. Same. Exactly. Exactly. Ed, work. That's a great thing to say. Wow. Work. Yeah. And now, I will say this. There are a couple people at work who listen to the show. Superman doesn't have any friends. He's the GLA. He's, He's, He's got that Justice League. He's got the, Batman's oh. his best friend. Batman uh, is his best friend. Are they really? No, 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 they're best friends. No, and I always thought because Superman Batman was a loner. Is, no, Batman is Superman. He tolerates Batman. It's a fortress of solitude. I mean, I get mm-hmm. it. He tolerates Batman. He tries not to look while mm-hmm. Robin is sucking Batman's dick. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. no. You I'm just say <laughs> I mean, come on. Grown ass <laughs> man, <laughs> little boy in tights. He's not fuck? a boy. I mean, Robin's not so really he's a like boy. a teenager. Mm-hmm. He's not a teenager. You go back to well, he's start- if I'm going comics. back. Listen, I don't do comics. So y'all forgive me. I don't do comics. I didn't mean to offend anybody. But yeah. Robin, with with where I'm coming from, it's was a grown-ass man. Grown man who happened to be short. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's because it, that's Batman from the 19. Yeah, from yeah, the TV shows. Yeah. No, 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 not the TV shows. Well, that's that's Dick Grayson in the TV shows. That's Michael was... Keaton Batman. No, that's, no, no. Yeah. That's my Batman yeah. mm-hmm. from the back in the day with uh, the original Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to watch reruns. Every Adam oh, I, West. Every day. Adam West. I and am golfing. Adam West and that Batman and his uh he he wasn't his uh He was his steward. He was his the, the he English was his have a word for his ward. He was, wasn't his yeah. ward, but he was his ward. Mm-hmm. But this kid this guy was a full grown ass man. Yeah, and the team old enough to go to college. Day, and yeah. by the way, mm-hmm. I was a child just and I knew I was gay mm-hmm. all the way all, every day for my whole life. So I was just dreaming. Mm-hmm. We know what's going on. <laughs> Us baby gays know what's going on. <laughs> you know way, I have up. made you digress. You were, you, I have you made were you a baby gay. What did you think was? Gay. You thought they were living together in a Barbie mansion. Living together. No, and no, it was just listen, man, they had the option mm-hmm. of the fucking bat elevator mm-hmm. or the bat pole. Mm-hmm. And they decided to slide down the pole. Bat pole. I'm every just, every like, time. I'm saying every time it I'll pick the pole time. every time. But you were saying but I, I made him digress and mm-hmm. I, you know, we're live too. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker. How are we ever going to return <laughs> to order? <laughs> I know uh, the light is too much of this fucking tea we've been drinking. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, that's the part. That's, the, that's the point. The is to uh, have a couple of teas, relax, and loosen up, bitch. You know, I am actually looking forward to the day when we have a. I'm going to say a minor celebrity. Who is that? I don't know anyone who is like maybe on TV a little bit, or maybe on social media. Well, or we should do more shows and, like this show. Yeah, so we're not as dirty as mm-hmm. we usually are because we are not. Being dirty today. Why are y'all? Oh, we were dirty. dirty. We're not holding back. We talked we about the content. We talked no, about the content. No, but I don't porn. want to be. Listen, I'm trying to get away from dirty. Uh, <laughs> okay, because we. we it's so, Halloween. We one of my friends. One of my friends gave me guilt about uh, how dirty we are. Why? Saying, why? This is our show. Say, listen, saying, I don't know how you talk like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? And, girl, and he's like, girl. You are telling too much. You, uh, and I, he's like nobody can ever. Nobody, a family member of your, and that's the truth. Nobody who's a family member of my family could ever listen to my show and ever speak to me again. So, have you listened to our show? I have. <laughs> and have you heard? I've heard the way I talk. I've heard quite a bit. So, so can be afraid. Do y'all mind having a quick behind-the-scenes conversation real quick? Because I'm curious as uh, kind of new podcast. Let's do it. Stuff. Do you want to okay. take a break? Um, we can, or uh, off-air or on-air. I kind of do have to use the yeah. restroom. Well, okay. it's not behind let's the scenes. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Yeah. Let's do you want it on-air? We are, we're this one half does the other if it's compelling conversation for okay. anyone Ooh, that would... Compelling conversation? Well, anyone... Listen, girl. so, I mean, I, I want people to chase their whimsy. I want them Hi, to... Hi, everybody in the room. 
Like hey, it. everybody in the room, we're having a good time. Yeah. Yes. However, I want to tell the audience, we're going to take a break because, like I said, we're kind of lots of Texas tea, tea was, was had, and oh, you know, it's it's got we're to go we're getting too wild. More so tea to come. More tea to come. We'll Ooh, see you excited. in a minute. Okay, we're back. We are back. <laughs> Some of us are still in the kitchen mm -hmm. making tea, but we are back. Mm-hmm. So. But, <clears throat> yeah, so we're back. And like Randy said, some of us are still making Texas tea. And are you all right in there? Oh, it's all right, but I'm not because, mm -hmm. you know what? I don't bite my nails. Mm -hmm. And that's why they get so damn long. And that's how you get your nails cut up, mm -hmm. caught up in a damn pop lid. Mm -hmm lid from a soda mm -hmm. water which pops up when you and sometimes you break a nail mm -hmm. when you forget to cut them you know what right now so if people have been listening and you know i'm, I'm not hoping they are not seeing people listening so i have no idea but we're having fun so it doesn't matter <laughs> yes indeed <We're laughs> it does matter though it does please, matter please be you know the we are live you are live at least uh, show us some presents. Yeah, exactly. Do something. I'm talking to you, China. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't forget, Great Britain. Actually. Great Britain. Great and Britain. Don't we love the Queen. Great Britain has moved up on the list. They are now. What? Yes, they have moved up on the list. They've beaten Japan in the number of listeners. Come on, Great Britain. Somebody from Great Britain say something. Oh, it was Japan, not China. It was Japan. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we're not talking to China mm -hmm. right now. Communist motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> how are you gonna get mad? At, uh, how do you get mad at, the, at somebody that you knew was who they were, and it's never gonna change? That's so. No, no, just let it happen. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? Be blessed over in China. Mm -hmm. 
Motherfuckers. Isn't that how friendships? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's how friendship works. It, isn't I say that how friendship works? Mm-hmm. You motherfucker, mm-hmm. and everything's all right. Mm-hmm. That's how friendship works. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. I don't know how we got on China. We were talking about broken mail. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I want to talk about more scary shit going on in the world. Oh, here we and go. And girl, here we go. Girl, we over in Key West, Florida. A couple, well, actually, a gay couple was attacked by a couple of uh, white trash bitches, a male and a female couple, Mm -hmm. who actually had the nerve to tell them, get off our island. Are you kidding? Gay people are part, we we are part of their economy to the, I mean, they wouldn't be on that island without (laughs) gay people. We do Key West all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a gay destination. People get married there and everything else. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as always, the woman starts the problem. Mm -hmm. Because there's always a woman involved when it comes to a man and a man fighting. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a gay man and a man, but if there's a woman there, (laughs) she's the one who instigates. (laughs) And she said... Hey, oh Mr. Lord! Now we're going to get out. These gays were in, <laughs> these gays were in speedos, right? Mm-hmm. So she says, "Hey, Mister Speedo," you know she was drunk. So she probably said it like this: "Hi, Mister Speedo, faggot, get off our fucking island." And he said, "I'm sure." Now I'm here, you know, editorializing. He said, "Fuck you, bitch, bitch." She took her boat oar and. Bam! On top of his head. Hit him on the top of his head. He shoved the bitch in self-defense. And then she punched him in the face. <laughs> and then her fucking husband got involved. Oh, wait, did he? She... She's my favorite action star now. <laughs> she is the oh, gay she, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. To, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, she... She got she, hit with the... That was his, no, the queen got hit almost, with the oar. The queen got hit with the oar by the woman. Yeah. Yes. And then she punched him in the face. She punched Did him you? in the face, and then he pushed the bitch. Mm-hmm. Then her husband got involved. But her husband got involved so late in the game. Girl, She's already she, been doing all the stuff. Listen, if you see, if you've mm-hmm. never seen this bitch, you know she could handle her own shit. <laughs> I think she was just jealous because her ugly fat ass couldn't fit in a speedo. <laughs> so she looked like me with a wig on, basically. She looked like me or you. <laughs> Actually, I look more like her and you look more like him. Because <laughs> you're a redhead. Handsome couple. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And so, there was some ass whooping going on, honey. What is that wacky world, man? I know. Can you ask you something? She, she called that poor queen a faggot, which I don't mind being... Do you mind being called a faggot, Joel? Yes. I don't. And you know why? Because I'm not giving that shit power. Yeah. You call me a faggot, I laugh. And you know what? The last time I was called a faggot, the guy was about as far away from me as you are, Ed, which is about three feet. Three feet, yeah. And he said, faggot. And I said, I prefer cocksucker. <laughs> you take the power away from that word, girl. You don't let that word own you. That word does not own me. Oh, here, so, but here's the thing. Yes, it does offend me for a second. Yeah. <coughs> and then I look at the person who's, who's saying it. And then I realized, wow, this person must be going through a lot of shit. This, no this person is this and that and blah, 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 blah. Then I start to feel empathy for this person. This, maybe sympathy. this person. No, empathy, not, not, yeah. no not sympathy. No, empathy. just sympathy. Yeah. Because this person is probably having a bad day and he's doing his thing. And That's I true. was the object. I said hello and suddenly that thing that I remembered in his head. Now it's me, and he lets it out on me. I get it. Mm, I completely get it. I don't get it. I that's, don't get that. Mm-hmm. That's. I, I, appreci- most, I appreciate I, the way you're trying to mm-hmm. go about it because yeah. it's very. Mm-hmm. It's kind of it's the dudeism. It's the Zen. It's like the mm-hmm. you know. Listen, let's let's take a look at why this. But man, mm-hmm. when you say something like that, when you're when you're calling someone, uh, uh, anyone who's gay. You know, a mm-hmm. faggot, or if you're using the N word and mm-hmm. stuff like that, there's words are just words. Mm-hmm. But some words have power, mm-hmm. but it's because they're used with such aggression. So, you know, 
I've heard people use the word faggot before, and it doesn't really offend me unless you're trying to hurt someone. Mm -hmm. That's when it's like, listen, man, there's no reason for that. I don't care how mad you are. You have to look at yourself and be like, hey, listen, why am I going to say this hateful, hurtful thing to someone? Why do I want to ruin this person's day with this word? And I just, I, I don't think there's ever a time to, to fuck with someone like that. Well, you know Here's what? I understand Joel's point, though. Joel's, Joel's the better man, so he goes into that place. No, no, I love that. No, of empathy. Mm -hmm. You went yeah. into that place of empathy because you're the better man. Mm -hmm. And we all know in this scenario that it's... I'm not trying to be the better man, but, though. But... It's in your that nature, scenario, apparently, because no, that's what you did. You were trying to work it out. I was working it out in my head because exactly. the most horrific thing to hear is, hey, uh, listen, when you walk past me, don't put your hands on me because I don't want your hands on me. I don't want you... I don't like your kind. I don't like what you represent. Mm -hmm. So, please, I know that you like to flirt and do all that stuff with the other guys here, but do not do that with me. That is what offends me. You know what? That, that is what the, that the is, faggot that is, and I, I will even say this, faggot and nigger do not offend me. What offends me on the nigger side is hey, um, I watch Doctor Who. That's pretty cool. I didn't know black people like to watch Doctor Who. See, that's a shame. Yeah. That, that is, is more hurtful than the actual word. If you called me nigger to my face, doesn't bother me in the least. You call me faggot to my face, doesn't bother me in, in the least. When you make assumptions about, about a certain group of people and yeah. then lump me in that group of people, when you don't even know who I am, that is w what affects me. That's exactly That's what either hurts me or pisses me off. That's well, and you know what? I've mm -hmm. been, that kind of being shamed mm -hmm. by a racist, bigot, piece of shit mm -hmm. is worse. Mm -hmm. Way worse. Because I got chilled. Uh, no, I didn't get chills. Actually, I, I, I flushed. I, I felt. When you said that, that about someone saying, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I, I don't want to be touched. And as long as you don't speak to me, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I've literally my mm -hmm. blood pressure went up because that mm -hmm. that's happened mm -hmm. to every gay man, and there's nothing worse. Mm -hmm. I'd probably be called a faggot all day long mm -hmm. than that. And and you're right. I'd rather be called are, a faggot than and have that, someone. That is that is a pure. But you know that mm -hmm. someone's entire body, mm -hmm. their whole soul, yeah. is black. Mm -hmm. That is a scary person. Yeah, exactly. And that is a person you want to stay away from. Mm -hmm. Where their their entire body is so offended if you accidentally graze up against yeah. them or something. Mm -hmm. That's some scary, fucked up, racist but you know what the, bullshit. But <laughs> you know you know the redeeming quality? It is crazy. But you, there's a redeeming quality to that. Because when I watch him talk to the other guys, he, he came in with his wife and daughter. His wife is fucking beautiful. She's a beautiful woman, cute little daughter. But then I watched this asshole hit on every woman that can, oh, I'll take you out to dinner and I'll do this and I'll do that, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm looking at the most beautiful woman I've ever seen who is with you? Are you fucking serious? But you know what? Are you she fucking made me serious? the same way. <clears throat> and that's, that's scary. You have to talk true. to him. See. It's, no, mm -hmm. but he can't talk to her. No, no. Because you know what? Right. I've been told mm -hmm. that. You know, I am a queen, and mm -hmm. I am Nelly. And being Nelly, sometimes being yourself, and I'm often myself. Mm -hmm. I'm never myself in Crosby. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. scared. Mm -hmm. I am legit scared in that town. That listen, sad to hear. That it's is sad. True. No, I go mm -hmm. in that deeper register and stuff, and I just do it naturally because I'm trying to defend mm -hmm. myself. I'm trying to make sure I'm protected. So I go into that mode. It's like, I don't go to straight bars. Yeah. Straight bars scare me. I go into that place where I'm like, I can't be here. I don't want to be here. Because people like that exist. Yeah. The man that he's talking about exists. And that is a person who will fucking kill you in a heartbeat because you are not a person to them. Mm -hmm. You are... Uh, 
a piece of you're, you're nothing you're, to you know you're garbage yeah, yeah. and mm. you're you're a blight in the world yeah you're a exactly. blight you're a cancer in the world mm -hmm. and people who think like that will fuck you yeah, up absolutely oh but they'll let you suck their dick first which by is the, the way. crazy thing and man that's, that's and true. then fucking cater you were about to say that were you well it, it's fucking close i'm but. sorry i wish <laughs> i wish that ever happened i every let me tell you something I work in Bel Air, and that is the only thing that I will say about work. My favorite, when I worked in Bel Air, my favorite bar to go to was Little Woodrow's, which is right there by the railroad tracks. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. I just know that everybody in Little Woodrow's knew I was gay. And they had no problem with it. All the regulars, the bartenders—they're not even bartenders. The beer girls, because it's little wood. It's little Woodrow's. I don't know from yeah. little Woodrow's. Little Woodrow's is all about cute, hot girls behind the bar serving beer. That is what little Woodrow's is. So little Woodrow's in Bel Air, same thing. Everybody in the bar knew, knew I was gay. Everybody in the bar. I didn't even know how this happened. It turns out that people who were going to Little Woodrow's would talk about me all the time or what have you. And then I'd come down a couple of times and they'd go, oh, Joel, by the way, we know you're gay and we're okay. That's exactly how they would say that. They would oh. whisper it. They would okay. whisper it. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, I don't, kind of wait, did I do something? I might have done something. And I'm not saying, I might have done something in there that might have, I might have told everybody in there I was gay. But I don't think I did because most of the people that I talked to when I was working at Black Eyed P in Bel Air told them that I was gay. And it, I never had a problem down there, ever. Everybody knew I was gay. And that's It was the same wonderful. thing with, and I'd already been gone to, going to TK Bitterman's, but I was living on that side of town at the time, so. TK Bitterman's? Yeah. Yeah, we have TK going Bitterman's. To, I've been going to TK Betterman's, and this is... I mean, everybody knows I'm gay up there, and I... You know, I, I... And listen, my mother mm -hmm. is like, Randy, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You're the only... And it's my... Don't get me wrong. It's my thing. Mm -hmm. It's not Crosby. Mm -hmm. Shout out to any gay people who live in Crosby, men especially, because I don't see you, and you don't see me, and I can't swish anymore like I usually do, <laughs> because... My natural walk is much more Nelly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of sassy in that walk, girl. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Or a lot of sissy. A lot of sissy in that in walk. That walk. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I can hardly walk because I'm fucking crippled. So, <laughs> mm. so I can't do the sissy anymore. I love the sissy in my walk, girl. I, mm. Unless I was at the ripcord, mm -hmm. and then that was a totally different. I was. <laughs> my name was Toby, and I flipped houses. Oh and geez, you had your, your whole thing. Yeah. Oh, and wait. And have you have you ever been the record? I don't know what that is. You do I not want to know what that is. Now, well, back in the day, you do not want to like, know. What like, now it's like now it's like super tame. It's well, like uh, it's like Benigans. I hear that a lot of places are like that now. No, there's it's no kind of such good. thing as good gay anonymous sex in a bar. Ah, uh, the good old days. Yeah, the good old days. Well, you now you it's straight people everything don't. So desensitized. You straight people don't. Everything's don't going have any on idea everywhere. Of what us gay people used to get up to. <laughs> <laughs> Probably put me in the grave. None. None. You have no None. idea. None. If like, you, I think I've lived fast and loose, but you guys are making me feel like I haven't done shit. No, you, you haven't. You know what? The thing is, it's all <laughs> no, there's a juxtaposition of gay men and straight men. Gay men can have sex anytime, mm -hmm. anywhere. Anyhow, any place, boom, because we're men. And men want what? Sex. Sex. And mm -hmm. guess what? Gay men want what? Sex. Sex. And guess what gay men can do? They Sex. pull their dick out mm -hmm. in front of a gay man, and a gay man goes, oh, are you there? And there I am. It's you just, with a woman, with a woman, dangler, yeah. with a woman, it's not pull your dick out in front of a woman, she'll go, oh my God. Call Listen, I heard, the other, yeah. I heard the other day that well, maybe not today's We're, time. We are now, and we are now, and like, we are now in a new generation of. It's now not about pulling your dick out. It's about the dick pic. It is about the dick pic. Every 
You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't sell my dick to any pig. I don't. Well, I don't. I don't do Joe, that. No, you know what? But, and and Ed I was think, about to tell us something. Don't. don't, no, don't no, no, he did. He just did. No, no, he wanted to tell us something else. Let him tell it. I, he's, I already derailed though. Let's keep, continue. Oh no, derailed. go back. Yeah. We derailed. Oh. No, he can't go back. Can't go derailed. back. I'm gone, dude. We derailed. Okay, Ed. These teas. Ed. May I remind Can you? Can I just say I love the holiday season? I do. Like around Thanksgiving because Canada Dry, <laughs> and they're not a sponsor or nothing. Oh, like Canada man. Dry with Cam we Cranberry. We need sponsors. It goes so hard, and it, we will drink it all day every day. I will paint Canada Dry on the side of my car right if y'all get right in. You. on right You know, here. just we. It, it takes a little bit of money to get a podcast going. I love these guys. They need some help. Canada Dry, I, 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 uh, I'm I, going to put it out there right now. What is it like a... Um, no, what we need are subscribers, and we subscribers? need people to download. Well, we can do Canada that, too. Dry, you got that Spread the word. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, if you want to monetize it. I wanted to go back to the whole idea of, like, you know, people trying to figure this stuff out. Maybe that's a conversation. Yeah, go ahead. That. No, you... I had... I did, okay. Randy, I had something right there. Well, take it. No, I can't remember, man. It's gone. So about oh okay well right, I'll try so to remind you let's go back get in and have it easier because we have oh, yeah. sexual creatures and we can have sex Joe and I could literally walk out of literally and I know how to use that yeah. word walk out of this place go to a bar and have sex so in t- boom one night there you go boom in today's climate it's probably not a good idea but I've no. heard the statistic whose climate. I heard the statistic that as a man, <laughs> as a man, a uh, heterosexual man trying to get a woman, if you pull your dick out one out of ten times. Oh, no, that doesn't count. For no, men. it doesn't gay count. Men. Not for gay well, men. Well, not gay men, but. Oh, no, you can't. Eight, I don't, eight, I don't, times, oh, 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 eight times you're going to get arrested. One time it's going to get sucked. One time they're just going to laugh at you and okay, you're going to feel sad. First of all, okay, first I'm not all. advocating oh. anyone take their dick out. No, 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 no. Take their dick no, out. Can I, can I? You can. I need to. I need to say that we, this was the best Halloween episode we've ever had. Dun, dun, dun. And we had fun. But we have oh, we have gone over. We have oh, gone over. So we're going to have to shut down this for right now. But here's the thing. We're going to shut it down, but we're going to do a little sideshow and keep it going for just a little while. Well, we could do. Yes, we could, we're going to do two? one more. We're going to do part two. But we're not going to do a full 30 minutes, Joel. No, I we're not going to do a full yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, we're not going to do a full 30 minutes. But we are going to have a... Uh, we're going to shut this episode down because we had a great time. Yes. And then we're going to do... A, and we're going to do a recording. Recording. And yes. Then this, is what we're, this is what we're going to do. So I want to say thank you, Ed. Thank Ed, you, Ed. For Ed. being on the show. Ed's not going anywhere. Y'all are great. Randy, uh, by the way... Uh, Look for us because we're going to be on YouTube. We're going to be invading YouTube here soon, and we've already put our toe in the water, and we've already gotten a lot of positive responses on doing it. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to be on YouTube. So these discussions are now also going to. We're now we're going to have the ten minutes on the couch that we deserve after yes. this show. Yes. So we're going to shut it down. We love you all. Love y'all. Love you. Hey Philippines. Ciao. Bye.